hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be doing like a get ready with me just like my everyday makeup routine while telling you a little bit more about myself because i feel like uh tell you a lot about my life on tiktok and like my get ready with me's and stuff but it's not like what's happened like in the past and just general facts about me like i feel like it's gonna be a really good video for you guys just to get to know me a little bit better so yeah that's what this video is gonna be i'm just gonna start by putting some clips in my hair just to get my hair out of my face um these i have no idea where these are from i've literally lost my other one i have no idea where these are from but i got them for christmas like not last year the year before um so i'm just gonna pop these in my hair and then we'll get started with the makeup i totally lost my other clip so i just pinned this one back with like a little bobby pin but the first thing i'm going to do is skin prep because that is the most important thing i've been loving this little spray by skin proud i love skin proud it literally this is like my first product and it makes my skin so hydrated but the first thing i'm going to tell you is, is how many siblings i have because i feel like that's like something like that's really cool about me so i have quite a few siblings um a lot of them i'm just going in with the elf power grip primer um so i have like biological siblings and siblings that i just call my siblings so i have all together wait let me count these because there's actually so many but right, i want to say i've got 11 siblings honestly i've got that many that i literally probably are missing one or two of them i'm not even gonna lie but yeah so i have a lot of siblings and I live with two of them currently because one of them moved out and my biological siblings I don't live with but um yeah I have a lot of siblings I do say um most of my siblings some of them don't live with me though um or even near me but yeah I've got quite a large family which is another huge fact about me so my family is such a large family like I remember in primary school half of the people in that primary school would be like my cousins or my siblings or just some sort of relation i'm just going in with the collection filter finish in shade um what shade is this fair medium two um just to give my face a bit of glow and warmth but um so yeah my family is huge i literally have quite a few like i was gonna i don't even know i've just got like quite a big family and i love having a big family because you've like always got people you know what i mean i'm just gonna take a brush and i'm gonna blend this it's one of my favorite brushes um but yeah so that's another fact about me um another fact is i actually have a boyfriend and i've been with him for um nearly two years which is literally crazy we met each other in school and to be fair you probably don't say much on my tiktok and stuff because he doesn't really like to be in my tiktoks and stuff um i've posted them a few times so you might have seen them but i remember so basically i've got this one video post of us that i posted before I actually start on social media um and it's a dance of us two doing it at a friend's party and everyone was like oh my god is that your brother no it's not my brother guys it's not my brother why would i kiss my brother like no um like no but he does look a lot older now than what he did like we were literally in year nine when we first got together so we looked really young but we've both really grown up now and we've like had basically two years of our lives together which is literally mental um but yeah we met each other in school and yeah we've been together for nearly two years which is cute um another fun fact about me is when i was younger i used to love doing youtube videos like i used to like i swear everyone used to do this but i swear like like i would be getting ready or i would literally be doing nothing like attempting to make slime out of toothpaste who has who has a clue but i would pretend that i was doing youtube videos on it and one time me and my older sister who i don't live with um we decided let's make a youtube video and post it i was like five years old at this point maybe oh, <laughs> that's a bit exaggeration it wasn't five it was probably just like eight or eleven eight or eleven i don't know i was really young far too young to be doing youtube videos and posting them because obviously 
all creepy men and stuff um but we did one and we posted it and then my mum found out and we got in a lot of trouble because back then youtube was actually like, quite dangerous and stuff and like people <sighs> i'm not gonna get into it but yeah i wasn't allowed to post it because i was so young which honestly makes sense and the next thing i'm gonna go with is the shade glam concealer this is in shade fair and this is so bright and i'm just gonna put this under my eyes and on any blemishes and stuff but yeah i've always wanted to do social media since i was a young kid but then i haven't really like had the confidence until recently i've always been quite like an out there out loud confident person but people have things to say and that really got my confidence down and just i just didn't like see me doing it since i was so scared of what people thought um i just poked myself in the eye the next fact about me is i actually used to do dance like i used to do freestyle dance and i was actually so basically freestyle dance if you don't know goes from beginners to start is to intermediate to champ to prem champ um and you lose once you've lose three lives which um it takes a little while to explain but once you've lost three lives which is a good thing by the way um you move up into a higher category and i've done if i did freestyle dance since i was like two years old and i absolutely loved it it was literally like one of my favorite things like still to this day i would love to still do dance i'm not gonna lie like i just i just i do miss it quite a lot but um so i did dance and i was in prem champ for slow i was in champ for fast and in champ for pairs like pairs was like you would do it with another person from your dance school and we were in champ then as well and basically i did that for literally like i want to say until i was how long am i am i want to say until i was either 12 or 13 i did dance i'm looking really really pale jesus christ um, but yeah, I did dance, freestyle dance, until I was either 12 or 13 and I then had to, well I didn't have to, but basically it started to become really, really toxic there and um, I'm not going to get into detail, I'm not going to get into detail, but something happened and it made me not want to even show my face into that dance school anymore and it led me to quit dance so after that many ta uh, that many years of doing dance i quit because of some people but yeah freestyle dance was honestly one of my favorite things ever like you would have a competition basically every sunday you'd have dance class every wednesday every saturday and i just absolutely loved it does anyone else's nose run when they're doing the makeup like that is disgusting but yeah, I'm just bringing some colour back to my face using the shade Glam bronzer in the shade Terracotta. I'm just going to blend it in. I'm just thinking of these on the top of my head, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've not read any of this stuff down. Like, I'm just thinking of cool facts on the top of my head. Oh yeah, another cool fact about me is I used to love creative makeup. I used to literally adore it. I would get in from school, I would do creative makeup. Um, when I was in a whip though, to be fair, it was during lockdown time. So I was always at home. I had nothing to do. And I literally was obsessed with doing creative makeup. And it was literally such a passion of mine. And it, now, it still is, don't get me wrong, but I'm more into like my soft glam um, makeup, colourful eyeshadow, instead of like actually painting my face, if you know what I mean. Um... <laughs> Hey. So I was saying, I used to love doing creative makeup. So in lockdown, any time I had, I would literally be sat down painting my face, literally anything. I remember I did a little, um, I did little blood vessel things like a skeleton. I did a poison apple. I did Queen of Hearts. If I can't find pictures, I will put them in the video because honestly, I'm still quite impressed. At this age, I was like 11 or something, and I was doing makeup like this. Like honestly. It was a huge passion of mine and i still love makeup just not in uh, the creativeness much anymore um i'm, I'm gonna go on with the red blush now i'm the shade happy if i can find it um my makeup's actually looking so good and i'm not even going anywhere so i'm pretty disappointed but yeah um another fact about me is i'm actually in year 11 right now so i'm in my last year of school and if you watch my get ready with me it's, you know i hate 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 school 
with a passion, with my heart, I literally despise it. Like, it's actually an understatement. I actually just really, really don't like it. I never have. Um, I'm not an academic person. I'm more of like a practical person. So I'm actually going to college to do beauty once I've left school because there's no way in God's green earth I'm staying in that school for another two years. Like, I don't understand how people can actually decide to do that. Like, I've already had enough. I've already had five years of torture from the school. Why would I ever, ever stay there for another two years on decision on my own behalf? Like, oh, no. Can't think of anything worse. So I'm actually going to college at the end of um like this year technically but next school year and i'm doing beauty so i'm doing makeup because obviously love makeup um i'm doing makeup i'm doing lashes nails all that jazz yeah um but speaking about leaving school i have got prom this year and i actually posted a picture the other day on my um instagram of a prom dress and by the way that is not my actual prom dress that is one that i was kindly kindly gifted from a brand and i will be trying i am trying to actually help people who don't have a prom dress so if anyone doesn't have a prom dress um i'm gonna i'm trying my best to like like help them and i'm gonna like if they need one then i'm here I've got one that you can borrow if they're struggling with money or anything. So that is not going to go to waste, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so I have got my own prom dress, which no one is like fully seen yet, apart from like my closest friends um, and like obviously my family. And I'm so excited to wear it. It's literally the prettiest thing I've ever, ever seen. Um, also, I'm just using Maybelline. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder um, in the shade 105 Ivory, Natural Ivory. Um, I'm just going to put this on any spots or anything everywhere I put concealer basically. Um, but yeah, so my prom is this year and I'm really excited so keep your eyes out for that um, on all my socials because you know that there will be so much content on levers on prom because i'm literally so excited like i could literally speak about it for days um because i'm that excited i'm just finishing off i haven't got much left to do to be honest i've just got to do like bottom lash mascara and stuff like that so um i'm just gonna take some maybelline mascara this is great lash and love this one for my bottom lashes because the applicator is literally so so small um but yeah another fact about me is that honestly this one's quite deep but i was off school for about i want to say there was a week in year 10 i was off school at the end of it and then it went to the six weeks so i had like six i had like a seven week summer holiday basically um and then i didn't go back to school until i want to say when was it um, maybe like December, middle of December, maybe November, I'm not 100% sure, but I went back straight when they were doing box and I was like, you know what, I'm not just not going to do them, I'm going to do maths, English and I'm going to say where I'm at, say what I got and I'm not going to lie, I got a U. So clearly I did um, not do very good, but it wasn't really a surprise because I hadn't been there in so long, but that happened last year. I'm back at school now full time and yeah but I'm not gonna say why because it's quite personal but um another fact about me you know I'm not really that much of an interesting person I'm not gonna lie you guys I'm just using some Benny Tinks I like to overline my lips with this and then also a lip liner but um I'm just gonna overline Another fun fact about me is I've literally, I am so lucky to be able to go on a family holiday abroad every single year basically and last year we actually went to Florida for the second time and it was honestly such a good experience like Florida is such a fun place to go like your family and stuff also I don't know what this bread thing is my neck is really itchy um excuse me need to sharpen this but i'm just using short tubby lip liner in the shade pillow talk medium um but yeah we went to florida last year and it was honestly so fun like 
I literally love roller coasters and everything and obviously we went to like Universal, Disney. We did three weeks and it was honestly such a good experience. I loved it. But this year we're actually going to Zanti and that's like where we go basically every single year. Zanti is like our number one holiday place in Greece and we love it. Like we've literally got like we met so many people out there like friends and stuff and now we literally go back there basically nearly every year with them and it's so so good uh i do want to vlog zanti this year though so let me know if you just want to say that because even if you don't i'm gonna do it anyway because it's for the memories you know what i mean um uh, and just overlining because i literally overline to the gods um Just like that. My nose is literally running. Stop. Um. Yeah, that's my lips. Honestly, I don't think I usually overline that much, but they actually look really cute. And maybe I should start overlining them more. I feel like it like fits my face better. Hmm. I don't know. Also, another fun fact about me is I actually broke my wrist when... No, I broke my wrist twice when I was younger. Don't know how I did that. But I did. I broke my wrist twice when I was younger. One falling out of a cupboard. One falling down three stairs. And it was the same wrist. And I've also broke this little pinky before by falling over in a farm. Well done, me. Honestly, the most clumsiest person ever. Also... I've always been a really, really loud person. Like teachers, people who I'm around, they'll say, you're such a loud person. I have always been such a loud person, such a talkative person. And I don't really care what people think of me anymore because I had such a bad year last year. I literally just gave up with thinking about what other people think. And I just want to focus on myself, do what makes me happy. Um. So yeah, that is why. I don't really care what people think about me anymore. Like, obviously, there's times where I'm like, I need to shut off because they're going to think I'm a right little weirdo. Um, but, yeah. Um, oh, my God. That was also just the shade Glam Pomade um, in the shade Dark Brown. And it's literally, like, it's quite dried up now because I've had it for so long, but... It is really good if you put some little like water and stuff in it but i don't like to fill my brows in too much um i just make them a little bit darker because they've got makeup on but um there's not much else about me i can't lie hmm i could tell you it's like my favorite artist maybe yeah so i actually went to see james arthur the other day i did try to vlog it but then my vlogging camera kind of like the quality was awful and i was like i'm not posting this because no one is actually going to care because the quality is that bad no one to sit with terrible quality watching a video so i was like i'm not posting this but i did go see james arthur the other day and james arthur is literally one of my favorite like people on this planet i love his music so much um and i actually have been to a little mix concert as well when i was younger i absolutely love them it's so sad that they're not together anymore but come down can't do nothing um i'm just using some collection highlighter that i love this highlighter it's literally so nice and i just like to dab it like that um i'm actually gonna put some in the corners as well bring some glow into my inner corners um so yeah i do love james arthur i did love little mix and i love tate mccray oh my god i literally love love tate mccray i'd actually die to it yeah like it's actually not even funny um i'm just gonna finish off with some skin proud mist i do have charlotte tilbury setting spray but because i'm not going anywhere i'm not gonna set it with that because this was literally so cheap as well it actually smells so good but that is literally my makeup done. This is my everyday makeup routine. Um, obviously for school, school's different because they literally don't allow makeup. But yeah, 
I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope this like made you like see my life a little bit more and what um I've got up to before. <laughs> Tell you a little bit more about myself and the crazy life I've experienced so far. If you want to know one of these, because there's a million and ten facts I could tell you, is, I will do another one and I'll prepare some more facts and stuff so it's a bit more like you know what I mean? Instead of just like me blurring out whatever I think about. Hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.